the natural step and what, what does it mean to, to, uh, to our company. The way it originated was, to me, very, very impressive, as I've heard the story told by Carl Henrik Robel, the Swedish oncologist who created the natural step. He was doing scientific research in, in the pediatric oncology, and he noticed an increasing incidence of cancer in children. And telling the story, he would tell you himself that, uh, that he always thought cancer was brought on by lifestyle. We do it ourselves by the choices we make. But he realized that children don't have lifestyles. So there's something else going on here. <clears throat> and he sat down and he tried to write out what he thought was going on, creating you know, this situation, this increasing incidence of cancer in children. And he finished his paper and he sent it out to a peer review group of some 50 Swedish scientists. And he was deluged with responses, people taking issue with what he said. So he took it all in and rewrote the paper and sent it out again. He did this 21 times. And at the end of the 21st iteration, he had four principles that the Swedish and scientific community agreed were the bedrock principles of sustainability. In a sustainable society, materials from the Earth's crust are no longer accumulating in the biosphere. Think about how we violate that. In a sustainable society, persistent man-made materials are no longer accumulating in the biosphere. The regenerative, in a, in a sustainable society, the regenerative capacity of nature is no longer being systematically diminished. Those are the three scientific principles based on the laws of thermodynamics, as fundamental as you can get. The fourth is the social condition that says, therefore, in consideration of the first three, there must be fair and efficient use of resources to meet all human needs, not just the wants of a special few. I thought, boy, this is, this is strong stuff. He was speaking in Atlanta to a group of ordinary citizens, the environmental community of Atlanta. The next morning, I took him to Georgia Tech, where he spent the morning making the same points, but in a much more technical way with <clears throat> 200 scientists and engineers at Georgia Tech. And then we went to lunch together, and there were top people of Georgia Tech sitting around the table, and I was there with Carl Henrik and the Dean of Science and the Dean of Engineering, the Provost, and so forth around the table. And the Dean of Science decided to be the, the self-appointed skeptic. So he took Carl Henrik on over lunch on every point, just like this. Just, and Carl Henrik was right there with him on every point, just like that. And at the end of lunch, so happened me, the two of them walked out arm in arm. And two weeks later, the Dean of Science called me up and said, did you help me get that guy on my advisory board? <laughs> For me, that was the acid test. So we adopted the principles of the natural step, those four principles, as the definition of the top of mount sustainability for our company. When we're operating our company so as to no longer be taking anything from the Earth's crust, anything that's persistently man-made, anything that de denigrates nature, and when we're using resources to meet needs instead of wants, we'll be sustainable. <laughs>